Take your face off the cushion. Not going. Incorrect. It's been weeks. You need to get out of the slump and meet some new men. Trevor's friend sounds perfect for you. And how's that? He's not your ex. Is that where my standard should be set? For now. Get out of the sweatpants and maybe we can raise them a bit? Please, Margot. This is important to me. Trevor went out of his way to invite a friend to dinner tonight so that you have a chance to put yourself back out there. It's gonna be a great night, I swear. Fine, but it's just dinner. Yay! No drinks, no dessert, and no dancing. We'll figure it out. Mm. Okay. Happy faces. There. Doesn't that feel better? I hate you. Let's get you dressed. It's four o'clock. I know, we have a lot of work to do. Nothing too fancy, I don't want to draw attention. I feel like a disco ball. I know, it's perfect. So Trevor said his friend is super cute and a great listener. Really? Said those words? I'm paraphrasing. Uh. But I do know he likes dogs. He has a schnauzer. Just like Kurt. Ugh, remember Kurt? Kurt? My ex, Kurt. I swear that dog was his only redeeming quality. I guess I lost track of which boyfriend was which. What does that mean? Just that I don't- uh, He had brown hair, beard, blue eyes, nice teeth, under six feet. Red flag, I know, but I was bored. Um, he had the earring, made him look like a closeted pirate. Sort of like that guy? Kurt? Andy. Trevor! Kurt? Andy. Margo. Trevor? Hey. Margo? Kurt. Thank you. Candy, you look lovely tonight. Oh, uh, thank you. You look lovely too, Kurt. Trevor. <clears throat> I'm guessing you do know each other? We... Yes. Might have... Might have? It was a long time ago. Three months and nine days, Kurt. Is that a long time to you? I don't... I had leftovers from our last date in my fridge until a week ago. In a case of day, it was three months old. Why do you think I didn't want it? You watched me eat the whole thing. The point is, three months is still very recent. Recent enough to show a little decency and apologize when you see me again for the first time. <clears throat> Can I get anyone anything besides water? I like an alcohol, please. Make that too. Pour. Oh, uh, none for me, thank you. They're both for me. Four alcohols. Coming up. Uh, Margo, Andy tells me you like dogs. Uh, Kurt has this adorable little schnauzer. Tell her that. Her name's Misty, because her left eye's a little cloudy. Cute. Adorable. Name her after her disability. <clears throat> Andy! I'm just saying, it's a little fucking twisted, all right? What if you were born without arms and your parents named you Stumpy? I thought you liked this one. Uh, Margo, it's all right. I know the drill. What does that mean? If I have the fig and goat cheese bruschetta, would anyone want some? I think you know what it means. I'm allergic to figs. Please, Kurt. Enlighten me. You make big deals out of things that don't need to be a big deal. How's the bruschetta? Fantastic. 
Can you do it without figs? No. Name me one time I did that. Besides right now? Oh, there we go. A classic Kurt comeback. You asked the question, was I not supposed to answer? We'll have the bruschetta. Everything's always about Andy. Andy feels like this, Andy feels that, and it always has to be somebody else's fault. <clears throat> I'm sorry we don't all bottle up our emotions because our dads refused to touch us until we were old enough to hold a hunting rifle. I told you that in confidence. Margaret, do, do you have anything to add? I never held a rifle. No, I mean... It's okay, Trevor. We can change the subject. I'm sure Kurt is perfectly happy leaving this conflict unresolved. <laughs> okay. Clearly there's some kind of complicated history and this whole evening was a bad idea. Andy, I don't think we should see each other anymore. You don't have to do that, Trev. Yeah, you really don't. We don't like each other, but we both like you. We can both act like adults, right? I can if you can. I can even if she can. You piece of cake. <clears throat> piece of cake. Solving that conflict. Bruschetta, are we ready to order some entrees? Yes, I think so. <sighs> um. I'm gonna go with the chicken fingers. Don't, for the love of God, don't. What's so funny? Nothing. Something about my order? I can come back. Stay. What? Pray tell is so fucking funny about chicken fingers. Are you going to your bad place, find it. House of you. Terrible. I just want to know what your lovely day Andy here thinks is so funny. I was laughing at something else. Liar! Who orders chicken fingers at the Chateau de Francois? What? The Chateau de Francois! I do. I order chicken fingers at the... Chat, um, France. You're a child. It's what I like. We could keep it to a dull roar. You're an embarrassment. You're a shrew. This is fantastic. You aren't a guitarist. I have an EP coming out in two weeks. Kurt's Journey, an anthology of love, loss, and labels. <laughs> you know three chords. The best ones. Should I place my order now? You know, I'm not surprised you think that three is a lot. You seem to apply that rationale in more ways than one. What does that mean? Oh. Your penis, Kurt. Your tiny penis. Oh, dear God. I think it's time I left. Trevor, wait. I'm sorry. Where are you going? Hey, this isn't over. My penis is great. Sorry, I'm still thinking. No rush. Well, small rush in my last table, so... Oh, I'm sorry. I'll... I'll just eat at home. It looks like I'm paying for this anyway. All right. You want some of the bruschetta? Um... Sure, why not? What was your name again? Margo. Nice to meet you, Margo. So you're allergic to figs? Yeah. I read that lady wasps lay their eggs inside of them and the male wasps fertilize the eggs inside of them and the wasps are born and that leaves the fig to find other figs and the whole process starts over. Tell you what, let's just pretend these never made it to the table. You don't have to do that. I know. So, your friends? We can talk about something else. Oh, thank God. 